Well, with all the melting snow, flooding isn't just a concern for homes. Storage units are also threatened to take on water. Now some facilities are doing what they can to make sure it doesn't happen. KXY 4's Drew Reeves working for you with what's being done to keep your property safe and how for a few it is already too late. Step onto the parking lot at DP Storage and U-Haul in Deer Park and you'll likely find yourself doing some slipping and sliding. Snow and ice covers the facility which created some problems this weekend. It started melting of course and getting squishy so it started coming in under our doors. When the water started going under the door and into the office that's when they knew they had to do something. So they say they put out these pumps which started working immediately making sure no water flooded any units. The owners of DP Storage say they haven't had any customers who have been affected by flooding so far. They say that's thanks to these sump pumps, but other storage facilities haven't been so lucky. The water is so thick or deep now that it is going into soaking into my winter boots. At airport mini storage in Deer Park, one customer says her daughter's unit is completely flooded. They were devastated, you know, because um, their boxes were soaking up the water and starting to collapse inside and things were falling down. She didn't want to be identified for fear the owner may not let her rent a unit any longer, but she now worries what happened to her daughter's unit could happen to others. The snow fell from the roof and has sat in front of units for days. There doesn't seem to be any um, uh, rush in, in cleaning it up at all. She says her contract says the facility owners are not responsible for damage inside units and insurance won't help cover the cost of the damage either. DP Storage and U-Haul says they want to make sure nothing like that happens on their watch. We'll keep some pumps handy in case of anything like this again. In Deer Park, Drew Reeves, KXLY 4 News. Well, we have a complete list of road closures and openings at our website right now. Just go to KXLY.com and look for this story.